Hello, so you've been doing your interviews or maybe even your focus groups and now your supervisor's told you that you have got to do qualitative data analysis and you're like, I have no idea what that means. Well, I'm going to explain to you that it's really much more simple than it sounds. In fact, not only is it really simple, actually, you've been doing this since you're a baby. Yes, trust me, this makes sense. You'll all know what these kind of shapes things are. All we're asking you to do is to sort things into different categories. Like I said, stuff you've been doing since you're a baby, so. Oh, that's embarrassing. We'll edit that bit out in a minute. Okay, so there's a reason that we're in the kitchen doing this today. As I said, you've been sorting stuff into different categories ever since you've been a child. We've got a pile of stuff. You're probably used to either emptying the dishwasher or clearing the drain board after you've done your washing up. And what happens is you've got all this big pile of stuff and you need to put it into the right cupboards. You don't just kind of scoop it up, well hopefully you don't do this, you don't just scoop it up and shove it into the one cupboard. You have a look at it and you think, hmm, okay, so I need to sort this stuff out. So let's have a go at doing that, shall we? So we've got our stuff here, we've got a bunch of crockery. Okay, so the crockery is gonna to need to go into the crockery cupboard. Um, sort through our stuff. We've got cutlery, that's gonna to need to go into the cutlery drawer. Cups need to do that. Okay, and then we've got some glasses over here and then slightly random saucepan too. Okay, so you've got your crockery. Now, also, once we've decided that this gets separated from that lot of stuff, you'll realize that this is all quite different crockery. You've got bowl, small plate, and big plates. So when you go to your crockery cupboard, what you would do is you'd take it all to the crockery cupboard, but then you'd put that on the one shelf for the big plates, you'd then put that on the other shelf for the small plates, and so on, I hope that makes sense. So, I will put that away a little bit later on. Okay, and the same principle follows consistently, then, so you go back to your pile, you look, okay, I've got some glasses here, so they'll need to go in the glasses thing, let's not spend too much time focusing on the fact that there are rather too many large wine glasses in my kitchen. You would then take that to the cupboard, put that in there, put those up there. And that's essentially all we're asking you to do. The same thing. Cutlery. Ah, we've got some cutlery stuff. You'd open the cutlery drawer, you'd shove it in the forks, you'd shove it in the spoons compartment, and you'd shove it in the knives compartment. And actually, look, we've got big spoons and little spoons here, so you'd even have to distinguish down there. So you've got your wider categories, cutlery, then you sort them out into smaller categories, and the same kind of works throughout there. And really, that's all there is to it. Your job is to get your data, all the stuff that you've listened to during your interviews, and you've probably recorded them as well. You've got this whole mass of stuff, like all the mass of stuff on your draining board. And your job is to listen through and think, hmm, is this a cutlery thing I'm listening to here? Or is this a crockery thing I'm listening to here? And you will basically then sort those through. And if it's crockery, you think, well, okay, it's crockery, but there are little subsections to this, so you'd sort that out accordingly. And that, as I said, is really what all qualitative data analysis is, is to sort things through. The difference is, I suppose, really, is that this is your kitchen. You get to decide what the categories look like. Now, your literature review should have begun to inform that. You should have already started to work out what some of those main themes are. So when you come to your data analysis, you're listening to your interviews and you're thinking, does that fit into that drawer? Does that fit onto that shelf? Does that go into that cupboard? And that is qualitative data analysis.